and steady, boss. Smooth and steady. Is that the same guy? Yeah. That he was at the bar with? Mm-hmm. Why he only show up when nobody else around? I feel like this guy ain't real. <laughs> but you might be right. <laughs> Just <laughs> Loaded, sir. Tried to wake you up a few times. And his boy ain't there, booze ain't there. To wake him up to go to work. <laughs> Alright. Alright. I'm not tripping, dog. Uh, Alright. If so, booze ain't shit or bozer, whatever he ain't. Yeah, he, he damn ain't sure ain't shit. shit. He just left me on the plane not the fuck out. I guess he said he tried to wake his ass up. Alright, if he shows up one more time when nobody else is around, and then when somebody pops up, he ain't there, he ain't real. It's him right here picking this boy up now. Who has the capability to alter our signals? What do you mean, like disruption? Change our digital record. Alter voices, deep fake. Brother, that is. that is a fucking high level EW capability. That's God's hand kind of shit. Not when you already have multiple logs of the same voice. He on it right now. He on it. This is what he knows to set up. Well, why? What was the point? Why? Just to kill that squad? Well, I mean, I think it was a setup. But... Like, on the inside-wise, they just covering it up at this point. Mm -hmm. Or they gonna try to make him an escape go. That's he didn't I go home. Thinking. I could just tell by the way they was grilling him in the interview room. Like they trying to do something. Hey, bug. You're home. Barely. In bed and then daddy can come and tuck you in in a second. I'll come find you. Come on. Huh? <laughs> I'm about to say that was a terrible. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Could at least pass it first and then come back. This whole squad. That's how I be feeling when we get the dub and it be just me left. You drew this? I drew that before you left, Daddy. I've never seen this before. I showed it to you. You liked it. <clears throat> <laughs> You're funny. I am being funny. <laughs> I am always being funny. Anything to make my little girl smile, huh? Lost, that bitch went through a wall. And then took a big ass shot after the doc told him not to. You know, the only thing they've told me is that you had a concussion and, and that you have to lay low. You should get checked out, James. I can I can make you an appointment. <laughs> Fuck the so shower. Much for the Fuck shower. <laughs> World famous cinnamon rolls. Hey, should we eat these? This is great. Yeah. You okay? I'm okay. Yeah, hey, he's a soldier. He doesn't know what the hand that it just grabbed that yeah. ass shit with. He's, he's rubbing off the, the pain. Yeah. I have a few questions I need to ask you regarding Petty Officer Vickers. Say so he killed himself. Mental state. Fuck no, he didn't nah, kill himself, dude. man. They trying to what? PO1 Vickers flew home with the bodies of your man two days ago. Later that night, he took his own life. 
Neighbors found him this morning. Corn out of police with the freshman's on the scene. I'm really sorry, Commander. Smooth and steady, boss. Smooth and steady. Something ain't right. <laughs> Obviously. Is... I can't figure this shit out. Sir, it is my belief that this was a targeted attack on Alpha Platoon. My troops have been pursuing God. What the fuck is going on here, dog? <laughs> they playing some fucking Westworld mind games? Alternate timeline shit? that concussion or you got some brain shit going on? <coughs> but even or, still... Or the motherfucker was really... See, I just don't understand, like... They didn't accomplish anything in that tunnel, right? Nothing to know of. Nothing. So I can't figure out why the government would be trying to kill these motherfuckers. Because they should have been there. They shouldn't have been there, but they didn't do nothing. They did. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You never know with these missions. They do shit just to fuck shit up. Get people killed. The commander suffered a significant concussion on mission. He's, He's dealing with some repercussions. And might these repercussions be affecting your memory of the operation? You don't forget an op like that, sir. No, sir. How do they look like they're having a silent conversation they, between they each other? They are, because they don't believe shit. Because they already got their mind made up. What happened? Sorry, sir. He shot himself with his team pistol? It was his own sake. I believe it was a platoon gift. Reese, are you sure you're okay to go to these funerals? We could generate a reason for your absence. Shit, don't have it, man. Damn. Storm in the background. Man, Storm. run the bell. He gone. He couldn't hack it. Loser, his favorite pistol was the custom 1911-45. He hated the team 9mm. Hated them. We would always debate the virtues. 9mm versus 45. See, already. It's a setup. Maybe Boozer chose the team gun to send a message. His way to say goodbye. He got something to do with it. I was gonna say it, but <sighs> not with the wolf tattoo, man. See, unless there's something that happened in that tunnel that we didn't see. Yeah. Like they got some kind of. Well, they separated too. They or... split. So I don't know. I don't know what the fuck. What was the goal to go in there for? Oh, they were trying to kill Kadani, K- right? Yeah, the Kabani Kabani or person or who wasn't Kabani. there any day. Yeah. Anyway. Uh-oh. Okay, when all else fails, bring in the reporters. As we honor a cherished member of this community, Silver Star recipient, Special Warfare Operator Second Class, Donald Mitchell. Ready? Yeah, we had to go to all 12 of these bitches, huh? I guess we could... We could just vent over. The funeral was empty. Mallory's wife didn't even show up. I mean, Boozer deserved more than that. <clears throat> Hold on. <laughs> she had to make a move. Oh, like, he didn't make a move. Oh, Go straight home. Is that the gray van? Is that the gray car? Reporter. He's damn sure about to run over the Thule on us. Yeah, he gone. Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, Commander. I just needed to meet you away from the teams. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost got your fucking top pop. Word. All right, well. I'm in town for the next week, so change your mind. You will. 
Definitely. Ain't no security footage from that bar. That's a, yeah, but I, I don't know. They was in a whole other country. Of course, the death certificate says he, they certainly told you he died a day before you did. You got there, whatever. Well, Shot glass mm-hmm. still there, full. So I'm saying, I think there's truth to his memory issue, but then again, there's a whole fucking conspiracy going on right now with the damn Navy and shit. Why? I still can't figure that yeah, out. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe they did kill Kalani or whatever. I think something happened to me on that off. Hmm. I need to call that clinic. You know what an engram is? No, I don't. It's kind of the holy grail of brain research. A physical pathway for the encoding of memories. That's the name of this This is a visualization of healthy recall. Engram. Each memory a distinct memory. The scan gives us a detailed map of your brain. The whole thing takes less than an hour. We'll come get you once it's over. Damn, an hour? I didn't know you had to lay in them damn tubes. Yeah, when I sat in that one to do my shit, yo. That shit is dumb. And it's like, you know what I mean? Like, this is why. Damn, I didn't know you had to be in there an hour. Kept having issues and shit. Talk about moving like, bitch, I'm in. How the fuck you mean? Well, that's because yo, can't I can't write. Right. I told them that. So y'all bitch better knock me out. Give me something. <laughs> you know, have me sitting in here. Like, it's going to be like 45 minutes. God damn. Phase of the scan is about to begin. <laughs> Gotta keep your eyes open. He about to go to war right now. And Donnie's the one that came in late, right? That they said he was yeah, doing something yeah, and then he asked yeah. him, are you all right? And he said, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. That's why they made it a point to show that. That's why I don't think he's just second guessing himself too now. This motherfucker ain't even in the MRI booth. <laughs> I just, uh, you better speak up. Oh shit! He fell asleep. He's gonna wake up and they killed all the doctors and shit. <laughs> That's a good aim. Yeah. <laughs> As dirty as you got, yeah, to, get you got to get it in, boy. I don't give a fuck. The other one got shot like three times too. The first, time. yeah. Oh, you know these motherfuckers. Something's yo. not right here, yo. See, they gonna think he did this shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like he just killed all the doctors and shit. Like, he gonna he wake just get- up and be like, oh shit. <laughs> He put his gun in the safe. Uh. Lieutenant Commander James Reese, you need to send patrol units to 423 Cayman Street. Repeat, 423 Cayman Street. Yeah, his wife is dead when he gets there, yo. And now you got my heart racing, man. Nah. She ain't answering the phone. How'd they get this motherfucker's gun? 
Yeah, the way he walked with that joint on. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nobody taking that gun from him, man. You gotta get close. His wife dead, and they gonna say he did it nah. with his gun, man. Nah. nah. Yeah. Nah. Yo, what the fuck? Not the. Oh my god, yo. You gotta be fucking kidding me, man. Yeah. For what? This is what I'm trying. They, something happened in that fucking. Hey, bro. I am. His gun out the safe that he has with him, and he got in there. And he called the cops to come to the house. Hey, bro. <sighs> All right, that was episode one. Yo. I can't believe they killed his wife and his daughter, dog. I didn't even throw the daughter in there. I'm like, they wouldn't go. They wouldn't stoop that low. Nah, yo. I ain't, what their family got to do because they couldn't get him? No, why they were trying take to... Out the whole, why they had to take out his family? To make him seem like he lost his fucking mind. He killed guess, them, yeah. you know, murder, suicide shit. What the fuck? Yo, what the fuck happened in that damn tunnel, yo? Like, they sent them... Yo. I feel like they went there to get that Kalani dude or whatever. Failed. Or you think a whole nother mission... Or maybe they succeeded? And... The Iranians found out somehow? Yo... I don't know what the fuck Chemical is going on. Chemical warfare, they're going to war anyway. It's, it's like some 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 crazy shit is going on, yo. We're not getting the whole picture. Not yet, anyways. It, yo, that shit don't make no sense. Though. See, at first I was thinking maybe that Donnie dude snitched or something and got them jammed up because they said he was fucking acting weird and... Uh-huh. Something was wrong with him, and then he gave the plan. Yeah, this is how we're gonna get in there and do it too. Mm-hmm. And maybe he, damn, I like. I feel like I gotta go back and rewatch the beginning to see what their objective was. Additionally, I, I know it was to go get dude, but who is he? What is the purpose? Like, what does he do? He's a chemical. A chemical. He was shit. a chemical guy. Yeah, that's what he was. I remember seeing him background article shits or something. Yeah. Chemical warfare or something. I think he was looking it up. Oh. Maybe yeah. when the bomb blew up in the cave, it triggered some chemical shits, would kill a whole bunch of people, and now the U.S. is trying to make sure that they well, wipe their hands of us. it. You know what I mean? Well, we no, us. We yeah. 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 said nothing. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Word. Yo, I can't believe they killed his wife and kid in episode one. Episode one, they did that. That's that fucking crazy. Yo. Yo. Yo, it's kind of crazy because they got multiple shits going on here where you don't know what the fuck is happening, like. Because his, his memory is definitely fucking shaky. Because I called it early that fucking homeboy Boozer wasn't there at the fucking spot with him. Mm-hmm. And then they kind of confirmed it the way they showed it. And then he gave him, poured him the shot. And then the the drink was still full. Yeah, but it wasn't in the, in the other views. If I remember correctly, man. But that's just like when he fucking poured his but drink and then poured Shorty's drink yeah, and his cup was his fucking was empty, empty and her yeah, shit was yeah. full. Like, I don't know if that was just a mess up on their behalf or if that's the fucking show. 
blending because she said the dude in the MRI said something that happened a year ago. You'll perceive it like it just happened yesterday. Mm-hmm. So he could have been putting together a whole bunch of memories in that one little scene and. Word. Yeah, I don't know. That shit is pretty fucking fire, though. I can't lie. I like yeah, that. I like yeah, that first yeah. episode. Like, yeah. Anything that gets me confused, and I enjoy I because because <laughs> most of the shit we watch be like, oh yeah, you know this is about to happen. Well, you know, I like figuring shit. Yeah, out, so I, you, <laughs> you know. know what I'm saying. I'm just sitting there like, damn, like, damn, this shit is wild. But yeah, definitely a solid first episode. Uh, R.I.P. to the daughter. What was her name? Lucy, and I don't know what the wife's name was, but. R.I.P. to her. R.I.P. to all 12 of my man's team members. R.I.P. to Boozer. We know he didn't kill himself. No, it was 12. Yeah, 12 went out. Two came back. So it was 10 that died, right? I guess. I think it was a 12-man no, team. I could have sworn he said, I, she said, said I got 12 caskets. We got 12 caskets so coming back. Man. Oh yeah, more yeah, fucking maybe <laughs> that. Oh yeah, it was, maybe it was fourteen then. Yeah, two came because two came back technically. Did they though? Yeah, because well, they said Boozer. he came back after. Yeah, he they came, came back. back he, he came back the same day as yeah, all the cast. Him, yeah. and he came back by himself. Yeah, which I kind of believe because he was talking to him in the fucking plane. And then when he went to sleep and he woke up... He was gone. Yeah, he was gone. His dead. supposedly homeboy who just went through a fucking traumatic event, you just left his ass laying there? Maybe that's what they meant by, like, the next day. Maybe it was, like, 11.59 when he killed himself. <laughs> and then, like, the next day, you know what I mean? But yeah, yeah, I don't know. You know, shit go, man. That's fucked up that he left him there, though. He ain't... I think there's a mixture, yeah. What I don't understand is when the people pulled him out of the fucking MRI machine, why they didn't just pop him? Or pop him while he's in the MRI machine. Word. Let him come out and mm-hmm. all that. Just, that's how it goes, man. It's, it's TV show we shit. Had to see like, a fight. Yeah. We had to see a fight. <laughs> we had to watch them die trying to kill him. And like you said, he shot homeboy. Right off break. Like three times I felt like. Yeah, right? Yeah. And then he just kept fighting like it that was just came back. Like nothing. See, this show's fuck with me. Like, I don't know what's real and what isn't. Like, are we digging too deep into this shit, or is it? I, did I don't see know. The blood trail when the man ran out there. Word. But like I said, dope first episode. I think we covered everything, so we're gonna check on out. If you enjoyed it, bam, hit that thumbs up. Also, make sure to share and subscribe. Let us know in the comments what you thought. We'll catch y'all later. Salute the general, homie Joe. We gone. Go.